So for our third example, we're going to do 2x minus 5y equals 11 and 3x plus 2y equals 7. So what we're going to start doing is multiplying the first one by negative 3. So let's see how this goes. So you're going to do negative 3 times 2x minus 5y equals 11. And you're going to multiply all that by negative 3. So it's going to give you negative 6x minus 16 minus Never mind. Plus 15y equals negative 33. All right. So now that we we have that, we're gonna multiply the second one by two, so we can so we are able to cancel out the x's and then find the y variables. So we're gonna do 3x plus 2y equals 7, and we're going to do all that by 2. So it's going to be 6x plus 4y equals 14. So now we're going to, now we're going to put them together and add them. So negative 6x plus 15y equals 33, and then 6x again plus 4y equals 14 and this is supposed to be a negative. Well, now that we're going to add these, these cancel out because they're opposite and then this will be 19y equals um, equals this 33 minus 14 equals 929 19 19 so e that equals negative 19 so we divide this by both sides and now we have y equals negative 1 so now we go back over here and plug in a y. So now we have 3x plus 2 times negative 1 equals 7. So negative 2 plus 3x equals 7. And then you're going to add this plus 2. And then it's going to be 3x equals 9. And you divide that by 3. And then x equals 3, and y equals negative 1. So now, after we have all this, we need to check it to see if it's right. So it's going to be 2 times 3 minus 5 times negative 1 equals 11. Let me erase this. I have it for enough space. So it's going to be 6 plus 5 equals 11. And this two do equal 11. So the first one is correct. So now we have to check the second one. And we're going to do it with over here by. 3 times 3 plus 2 minus 1 equals 7, 9. Because this is a negative 2, I'm just going to put minus 2 equals 7. And then these two do end up equaling 7. So both of the equations are correct. And that means that both of our answers incorrect are correct. So this is going to end up to equal 3, negative 1, and that's, and that's example 3. So today we're going to continue on 
with example four. So since we want to, we're gonna cancel out the y. So we're gonna multiply three to the second equation. So it's gonna be three times y plus two x is equal to thirteen. So we're gonna multiply the three by all the equations, so it's gonna be three y plus six x is equal to let's see thirteen times three is equal to nine three so thirty nine is equal to thirty nine. So then we're gonna put it Put that one instead of the second equation. So it's going to be negative 3y plus 4x is equal to 11. And then plus, we're going to add them both, 3y plus 6x is equal to 339. So the y's cancel out. 6x plus 4x is 10x is equal to 50. So now we're going to divide 10 by both sides. And we're going to get x is equal to 5. So now after we got our x, we're going to plug it in into the second equation, the original one, because it's more, it's easier. So it's going to be y plus 2x is equal to 13. So instead of the x, it's going to be times 5, because that's our x. And then that's equal to 10 plus y is equal to 13, so minus 10 to both sides, they cancel out, 3, so y is equal to 3. So now, we're going to check our solutions. So it's going to be the first equation, let's do 3 times negative 3 times our y, which is 3, plus 4 times our x, which is 5, is equal to 11. So then negative 3 times 3 is equal to negative 9, plus 4 times 5, which is equal to 20, is equal to 11. So. 11 is equal to 11, so that, that equation is true under these solutions. Now we're going to do the second equation. We're going to plug in the y, which is 3, plus 2, times the x, which is 5, is equal to 13. So we're going to multiply 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. 3 plus 10 is equal to 13. So 13 is equal to 13. That is correct. And that was example number four of solving systems by elimination.